you guys. So today I have a haul for you. I've stuffed everything into this tiny little Sephora bag. Uh, I have a lot of stuff from Vitacost, so a lot of natural makeup. I have some products from Everyday Minerals. Some I got from Everyday Minerals' website, and then some are actually from Vitacost too. And then I have a few things from Sephora. So I hope you guys are excited for a haul. I haven't done one in a long time, I feel like. Today's my last day of being 24. I'm 25 tomorrow, I'm super excited. So if you next time you see me, I have like a ton of wrinkles and my hair is gray, that's why. I also got the mom, it's right over here. Check my Instagram. Andrew surprised me with the, not mom, the Alex nine drawer, big old storage case. So I'm in full organizing mode. Um, I'm, I need to get like containers for my each drawer, but super excited to have it. It's so cute and pretty. So I will do like an updated makeup organization thing before we move because we're moving to Seattle for a couple months. Um, but not for a while. So anyways, I'm rambling. Let's get into the so haul. First, I have two lip glosses from Eco Bella. I just destroyed my nails trying to take the packaging off. They are Eco Bella Flower Color. One's like a pinky violet shade and one is a nude. The ro not rosy. It's like a it's like a purple almost. It's called Pleasure and then the nude is called Peace. I wanted some more natural lip glosses because I I mean I feel like lip gloss is a good thing to have um, natural products in since you end up eating it. So they feel, they don't feel super sticky or anything, but they're really beautiful colors. So I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. I think I might keep these in my purse just to kind of slap those on. They have a, a little, I need to peel that off, um, a little mirror on the back like the whitening lightening ones do. Next so. I have two more Eco Bella products. These are both their eyeliners. I got two different shades, so they are the Natural Soft Liner. One is in Royal Blue, and then this one I think is just, oh, it's Velvet, but it's a black. I think the packaging of these are just really pretty. I like the gold. It kind of reminds me of Estee Lauder. Here is the liner, so let's see how these are. Right off the bat, they don't look as pigmented as I would hope. Maybe they need to be worked in a little bit more. We will see. So right now my favorite natural liner is the um, Benicos. So I want to try another one just to see, just to compare it for you guys and see the difference. So hopefully these work out nicely. I use pencil liner usually just on my waterline and then I use liquid or gel on my upper lash line. Next I have a mascara. This is the Beauty Without Cruelty Full Volume Natural Mascara for maximum length and thickness. So I've never tried this. This is as added fiber. It's vegan. It's cruelty free. All of these I have to open. I swear. <laughs> Good thing I didn't paint my nails right before this video because they would be totally wrecked. So let's look at this. Ooh, I love this. This is so nice. I know I'm going to love this. Let's just hope the formula is good, but this brush is like awesome. I feel like I know I'll, right off the bat if I'm going to like a mascara. I'll try this out tomorrow and hopefully it's good. I'll tweet about it, but I'm excited for this. I have high hopes for you. Next I have a brush. This is by Lorenum. I'm, I have been really impressed with the Lorenum brushes. I have an eyeshadow brush by them and what other, a couple other ones. So this is the blush vegan brush, but I, it ha does not look like a blush brush in any way. It looks like a foundation brush and I use, if I can open this, foundation brushes for my concealer. Like, ones that look like this at least. Oh, this is like big. So here's what that looks like. Just your typical foundation brush. I don't know why this would be considered a blush brush. This would be really good for under your eyes to blend in your concealer. I mean, this would just be good for foundation. I feel like, why is this a blush brush? Next up, I have a BB cream. This is the Illuminating Mineral Beauty Balm SPF 9 and it's by Mineral Fusion. So it says makeup, moisturizer, and age-defined treatment. It's hypoallergenic and fragrance-free. And I've seen this company at Sprouts before, but I've never tried it. And then I was just browsing Vitacost's website and saw they had a BB cream. And I figured I would try it out. I like that it was illuminating. I like anything illuminating. So it's like a, a nude color. Ooh, I love this. This looks a lot like the Laura Mercier but it's natural. Can't really tell in my hand, 
but it's like, oh, this one has less swatches, but it totally highlights my hand and evens out the color. Ooh, I think I'm going to like this. I probably will keep this in my bathroom and use this like as a moisturizer. Before we get into all the um, everyday mineral stuff, I'm going to talk about my Sephora purchases. So this is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in White Russian. A lot of you guys told me to get this. I have the uh, Buxom Lip Gloss in April, which is like their more glittery lip gloss, and I love it. It's my absolute favorite lip gloss I own, so I have been wanting to get this for a really long time. I love how it's a frosted glass. And I was debating between this one and Pink Lady, I think it's called, which is, it was like a baby pink. And this one is more of a nude pink when you compared the two. The other one was more of like a cool tone pink. So there's that right there. Just a beautiful cream, sheer gloss. I love the scent of them. They're like warm and cinnamony. I also got a little uh, thing for my birthday. It is the... What is this? Makeup Forever kit? I don't think this is that good. Um, it has a lipstick and a mascara in here. And the mascara is their Smoky Extravagant. Woo! That's a big old brush. This looks like the Doll Eyes brush from Lancome. And then the lipstick is a color that I probably won't wear very often. It's like super fall time. I don't know. I wish they would have done like a more like pinky wearable color. Last from Sephora I got something for with my, I think it was like 200 points. It's the Tory Burch perfume. I think this is so cute. I was so excited to get this. And I really like the smell. It's like a nice florally smell. It's super good for spring. It's just light and fresh and floral. I love it. I think the bottle sold me. I think it's so cute. I also got this Alba Botanica lip gloss from Vitacost. It's the Hawaiian lip gloss in coconut cream. And it's a clear gloss. It's 100% vegetarian. Um, no animal testing. And I've never tried these before. But I always see them at Sprouts. And I always am curious. But I never buy anything at Sprouts. Because it's like depressing if you look at the price at the grocery store and then go online and you can get it for like half off. So if I can open this. Oh, it smells so good. Like I would use this as a lip gloss. Super nice. I think this is going to go in my purse. Moving on to my everyday mineral stuff. I have a lot of these. I have um, all of this. Let's see. They have bases are their foundation. So they have like matte bases, semi matte bases, and then jojoba, I think it's the other one. So I got a couple different shades because when you order online you don't really know what's going to match. So I have the Beige Neutral Semi Matte Base and this is what they look like inside. I have tried this one out once so I can't really tell you like my full review. Another one is in the Semi Matte Base but I got a different shade. So this is a Fairly Light Neutral. So a Fairly Light Neutral and Beige Natural. And the Fairly Light Neutral is a little bit lighter so... We'll see which is better for me. And I also got the Jojoba Base in Bear. And this one is supposed to be a little bit more hydrating and give you more of a like a illuminating finish. So as far as the blushes go, these are called the Everyday Minerals Cheek. The one I mentioned in my favorites was All Smiles, right? Yeah, All Smiles, which is a gorgeous matte peachy pink color. It's so perfect for summer. I absolutely love this. Here is what the color looks like. And then the other one that I just got is Girl Friday, which is a matte rose color, like a really cool tone, pinky purple. And then these are like finishing powders. I think these are all, so I have the Pearl Finishing Dust Finishing Powder, which is like a pearly kind of glow it's supposed to give you. Then I have the um, Bronzed Finishing Dust in the Finishing Powder. So this is going to hopefully give me like a bronzed overall look. And then this is the Calm and Collected Skin Tint. So I wasn't sure really what the difference was between the between the finishing powders and the skin tints. Like I, I don't know if this is just going to darken up my complexion and this is going to set my makeup. I'm not really sure. So I am going to kind of play around with these and see how they were. So that is it for my haul. I hope you guys all enjoyed these fun new natural makeup products. Just so you guys know coming up I have a what I eat in a day coming up for you and a what is in my travel makeup case. So just an FYI those will be coming up soon. 
I hope you guys have a good Monday and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.